it's given me a bit casket ready, ghostly, um, not my favorite. I don't know if I'd ever wear this, it's just, I mean you can tell like on camera it doesn't look good, in front of me it doesn't look good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine. And if you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. Today's video, we're continuing with the holiday sets. I have something from Sephora Collection. Where did I put it? Oh. All right, so I have the Sephora Collection Cream Lipstick, or Cream Lip Stain. How beautiful is the packaging? And you get three, six full-size lip stains, and apparently you get three free. So this is actually, how much did it cost? I think... It was for $28 if I'm not mistaken but it's still up on Sephora hopefully and it goes for $28 and you get six full-size cream lip stains so without any further ado let's just jump into the swatches because that's what you guys are here for I am just gonna go down the line starting with yeah, let's just start with this one here and I'll move down the line that way. Okay, so it contains um, colors of like nudes, plums, and reds. So you get a little mixture of everything in there. Anyway, so let's just jump into the first color. But first, I have to get this opened. Um... Don't you guys hate when they have like the tape at the edge? It's one of the most annoying things ever. Okay, so now that that's off, we can resume our regularly scheduled program. So the first shade here is shade number one. It's this red color. This is a beautiful red, by the way. Like I can tell that I am really gonna like this one. Um, I am not new to the Sephora cream lip stains. I have swatched these in the past before. That is beautiful. Now that is a Christmas red. That is gorgeous. And I have to say, I, um, I am a fan of the cream lip stains. And first of all, let me get this lip color on before I start to talk and never get anything done. It's hard to talk and put this red lipstick on. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess up, so I'm like, I'm like, oh, uh, I just wanna concentrate. By the way, I also have this same shade in the mini size. So I know I've swatched this shade before, but I'm actually out of this one, so this is gonna come in very handy. I always did love this red color. It's just a beautiful blue based red that's great for the holidays so if you have that sequin black dress or just a sequin gold any red lip would match perfectly with any type of sparkly holiday dress it just makes everything pop and i think this would be a great option if you're trying to go for a statement red lip this is so comfortable it's not as drying as a regular liquid matte lipstick it's a stain 
so it's very lightweight and comfortable i i love this color and like i always say our red lip is a red lip and there is just nothing bad i can say this color is popping if you like it then go ahead and give me a thumbs up Also, you do have to struggle a little bit to get these off. So if you have some type of oil base, you can use that to help remove your lipstick. So I'm just gonna use my Luna by Luna lip oil, some more of that. I find that that helps me to take off the color. By the way, I probably won't have any lips by the end of this video because with me pulling and tugging, it's gonna leave my lips chapped and probably in pain. So, just warning you. See, and that oil literally melts it off. Way to go to start with a red lipstick, right? <laughs> so yeah, just make sure you have some type of oil. If you have coconut oil at home, you can use that. You'll be fine. That will take it off as well. And it still leaves my lips, leaves it still leaves my lips feeling a little bit more hydrated. Okay, so we're gonna move on to color number. This is color number 72. And this is one of their nude shades. By the way, do you guys like my nails? This is um, London Town. I'm gonna leave the link for the shades in the description, but um, I did them myself and I just wanted to be holiday festive. So I thought some good glitter um, would work just fine. So, okay, this is 72. To be honest, I think I had this shade already as well. It was not one of my favorites just because I thought it was just a tad bit too light for me. Well, you know, Hmm. Looking back at this shade now, I don't mind it. It's, I don't know if it washes me out. On camera, it looks like it washes me out. But in person, it actually looks like a doable color. Like I could put some type of gloss over this and I can get a lot more dimension with it as well so it doesn't necessarily have to be a lip liner a darker lip liner i can also use like another gloss and i have plenty of glosses to just throw on top of this and um it'll totally transform this color but i think i like it like i feel like i've changed my mind about this shade it's not that bad like it's growing on me it's you know what? I like it. And that's that's where I'm gonna settle at. I, I like it. Next up is shade number 
41. So the previous shade was also a nude shade, but it was more like a, I would say, mm, peachy nude, where this one looks a bit more rosy. It's a little bit darker. So there's a little bit more color in there compared to the, the previous one that I did. Well, what can I say? I'm loving this color. This is another doable color. It's not too loud. It's not a statement lip. It's just a regular schmegular lip color just to, you know, give your makeup a little bit more life or just, you know, give your face a little bit more color. So for those of you who are not into darker lip shades, this color would suit you very well. It's not too light and it's not too dark. This is definitely a doable color for those who don't like to go extreme with their lipstick shades. It's a color that I would definitely keep around. If you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up because I give it a thumbs up. All right, so we're moving right along. We're at shade number four. So we're definitely moving into the berry tones now. And this is number 14, beautiful berry color. So. Purple is a universally flattering shade. So I think all of us should at least try a purple shade once because you just never know. And if you don't wanna start with a stain or a lipstick, you can always try like a berry toned gloss. So that you feel a little bit more comfortable because you don't have to jump all in into a purple lipstick or a berry tone lipstick you can just you know ease your way into it with a nice berry tone gloss and see if you like it it's overall just a great color to have in your collection just for when you need it i like this color a lot and in my collection is where it will stay Okay, so those were the four mattes. So I think I did not mention, but the set comes with four mattes and two metallic shades. So now we're down to the two metallic shades. And um, this one is number 109. Looks like a, I don't even know how to describe it. So yeah, it's looking a little bit suspect. It's a champagne nude color. And I don't know, but let's just see. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this. Okay, hopefully you can peep the color. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Maybe because it's metallic, like I wear metallic, but it's never my first choice. So let's see. Huh. Well, hmm. Well, it is different. <laughs> mm, 
I'm just curious to see how it will dry. You know how metallics can just dry in the weirdest way? You have to keep in mind that metallic lipsticks will emphasize every single thing on your lips. So if you don't want to go down that road, then refrain from wearing a metallic lipstick. And that's part of the reason why I don't wear them very often because it will show every single thing. If your lips are dry and cracked, the world's gonna see it. I don't know, it's, it's giving me a bit casket ready, ghostly, um, not my favorite. I don't know if I'd ever wear this, it's just, I mean you can tell like on camera it doesn't look good. In front of me, it doesn't look good. And I don't know if there's anything I can do to tweak it, do a little something, but it's highly unlikely that I can tweak this lipstick. I am gonna pass on this one, it's just not, I don't see myself wearing it. Like I said, it's kind of washing me out and making me look sickly or ghostly. So, not my favorite. Uh, maybe one of you guys can pull this off, but this one is not for me, so I am going to pass. So lastly, but not Leastly, we have our last metallic shade. This is number 64 and it's a red metallic. Now I like a good red lipstick, but I'm not so sure about a red metallic lipstick. So it's not as metallic-y as I thought it would be. Well, it depends on where the light hits it from. But let's see how this is gonna look. Either way, it's still gonna emphasize the dry patches on my lips and the lines. So, uh, let's just find out. Well, hmm, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, you know what? This would be a great New Year's lip color, maybe even Christmas. So that would be, I think, the only time I would wear a metallic red lipstick. But it's not as bad. I thought it would have been worse, like the first one. That, no, that's not gonna happen. But this one, it's given me a different mood, a different vibe. It's not as metallic-y as I thought it would have been. So that's a plus. I feel like it's not as profound. You know, some metallics like really go in and just emphasize every single thing. But I don't get that with this one um, and for that reason I think I would um, wear this I would wear it at like a celebration an event you know something that calls for it but it I would not just reach for a red metallic lipstick on like a day-to-day -day basis it would have to be like some sort of special event for me to actually go find a red metallic lipstick and I think Christmas and New Year's is the perfect time. I mean, you know, it's, it's not that bad. And I guess I can always put like a balm over it if it's get too drying. But I will still have that festive metallic look. So I'll give this one a pass. I mean, it's not going to be my favorite or the one that I reach for. But I would keep it around just because it's, 
it's one of those things where you want to have it when you need it so yeah i think yeah i'll definitely keep this one around but how do you guys feel about metallic lipsticks let me know in the comments below So let's hear some feedback on the Sephora cream lip stain. So yeah, this is the set. There are four mattes and two metallics. And let's start with some of the pros. I would say these are super lightweight. They're comfortable. They last for a decent amount of time. And they're also priced decently I would say. I've always been a fan of the cream lip stains because of those reasons and obviously the pros outweigh the cons and that's why I, I still keep buying them because I actually do like them. They are scented however so that can be a pro and a con so if you're sensitive to smells you will want to stay away from these but it's not a it's not a bad smell it's it's actually a very pleasant smell so I don't mind it and it's not overpowering to give you that ridiculous headache like I said these are available individually that you can purchase if you would never wear a berry shade like that or a red lipstick then it's not worth it to, to buy the entire set I mean you could and then you can just share it with others your friends who love makeup but if you know you're only gonna be wearing like a couple shades from this then obviously it doesn't make sense to buy the entire set you can just go and get the individual shades on the website or you can get the mini sizes like I did I always have a mini size because I like to try things out first without spending a whole lot of money so it's definitely worth it I think they always have like mini sizes available so you can always find these but overall I think it's definitely worth it. I would probably wear the metallic shades the least. And these are the shades that I would more likely wear. So I would definitely recommend this set as a gift for yourself or as a gift for a makeup lover in your family. I, I think it's a great selection for you to see what you like and don't like. I would say it, it's worth your coins to try them out. But that's all I got for you guys. If you wanna see more lipstick swatch, videos make sure you go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell because like i always say there is no other way for me to notify you that i have uploaded a swatch video there is no way if you don't click that notification bell bing, you will never know so make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell because of course i will be uploading a lot more lipstick swatch videos but I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye!